Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Adab, y'all, from the GMS Mobile, Alabama camp, coming at you with another lesson. But before I get started, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach real well. Peace and hesitation to the whole field. It's scattered abroad, preaching the truth and sincerity to you. I want to say shalom. And I'm entitled this, The Invasion of Yahweh Shah. And the reason it's going to be an invasion is because when the Lord come, he is coming with his angels and chariots, which is his host or army, okay, to bring judgment upon the earth. The self-proclaimed white man, you know, he sends warnings of, of him so-called alien invasion all the time. But the truth is that the so-called UFOs are chariots of the Lord, and Esau knows that. That's why the self-proclaimed white man demonized the chariots um, <clears throat> to have you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans afraid, um, you know, which is which is going to be your salvation up out of this place, okay? But believe it or not, the Lord will come riding swiftly upon one. This is um, Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt. And this is the burden of America because America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, which is spake, you know, about in Revelation 8, 11 and 8. But it reads, Behold, the Lord rideth upon their swift cloud, okay? And that cloud is a representation of their fathership and, and smaller chariots, which can cloak into a cloud or various forms of other things. But Google um, lenticular clouds, L-E-E-N-T-I-C-U-L-A-R, clouds. And you will see the so-called UFOs, you know, cloaked as clouds. But reading on, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Come, because the Lord is coming in all his glory, and he will not meet thee as a man. He is coming in his angelic being to bring his judgment upon the sinners of his people and all the heathen. This is um, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And a perfect example is um, the movie Independence Day. Okay, or, or how when the father ship came into the atmosphere with clouds and flames and never I um, seen it. Or, or, or you got another one on um, War of the World. Okay. But the chairs would not be walking on land. All right. But you see those those things, you know, zapping people to powder, man. The only thing was left was they was, was ashes and, and they clothing, man. Okay. And you got another one, which is on um, Mars attack. You know, that's back in the 90s, man. You know, but there would be no slimy creatures with fish bowls on their heads like they can't. Um, inhale oxygen, but how they invaded Earth and, and chased the people, zapping them to powder. Okay, but the invasion of the Lord would not be funny or, you know, amusing, man. You know, he come to put put in work and to do the will of his Father Yahweh. Verse sixteen, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, the Lord is not joking around when he, you know, touch down. Even before he get here, he's going to turn this place upside down, you know. Okay. okay. Um, this is second Edris um thirteen and three. And then I behold and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, meaning the angels and chariots, okay, pertaining to Psalm sixteen and seventeen. The chariots are 20,000, even thousands of angels. Okay. But it reads, And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things troubled that were under him. Why? Because they were in terrible fear. 
this is the same Lord that Esau says everybody, you know, look that that you know he loves everybody and he hates no one. Okay, you are totally deceived if you believe that the Lord does hate, man. You know, he he's a balanced just power, man. You know. This is uh Revelation e one and seven. Behold, he cometh with cloud, and ever I shall see him, like the movie Independence Day. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wear because of him. Even so, amen. Okay, the the Lord brought back the same spirits of old to judge them. Nobody slid behind the curtain and, and got away from the Lord's hand. Everyone would be judged according to their works, man. And the word well goes into distress or, or howl or moan, weep, okay, cry for sorrow, for um, sorrowfulness, okay. The scriptures speak on how people will be in that day of the Lord. You know, this is um, Revelation 6 and 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, which is Yahweh, and from the wrath of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shah. Okay. Um, Revelation 6 and 17. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? The Lord is coming very angry, you know, very soon, man. You see? Hey, people are going to be in, in, in terrible fear, man. You know, <laughs> they will say to the mountains and the rocks, following us, hide us from the face of him that's sitting on the throne and, and, and from the wrath of the Lamb of Yahweh. You know, and and <clears throat> you that's why you know you have these these um higher upper people, you know, um you know, buying up bunkers and stuff, man. You know. They're they're planning to hide from the uh, from the Lord's wrath. Okay. Then yeah, you, you, you got the other ones up there in space on uh, the space station. Okay. You had them down there in, in, in underwater cities, man. Okay, so this man he, he he know that the Lord is on his way back, okay. But Hey, the majority of the world don't believe that, man. The majority of the world, they want to do what they want to do. This is Amos 5.18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay? To you proud people that say you are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay? The people that knows the Lord will and turn, you know, turn back into the world. Okay, the sinners of his people, which is you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Even the nations that never had the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, given to them. Okay, destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Why? Because you didn't serve the Lord in sincerity and righteousness. You did what your flesh des uh, desired and not what the Lord desired, man. Like the, um, the, the, the scriptures say, um... They honor me with their with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Okay, you 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 well, you people in the world you say Jesus, this and God, that, you know, but your mind is far from the Lord, man. This is um uh, verse nineteen, Amos five and nineteen. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. And a serpent bit him. Okay, it's going to be a time where the wicked cannot escape death. Death is going to surround the wicked. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? You know how when someone is going through hell and, and can't seem to get it right and, and say, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, it's, it's going to be none of that you know, for the wicked. Okay, that's that is dead, you know, in that day. Okay, that there is no hope for the wicked, no salvation for the wicked. 
This is Second Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, which is his hope for you. All of them will come to repentance, and the Lord made promises to them that will receive, that they will receive very soon. And one of the promises is that, you know, beautiful salvation. Okay, of, of his faithful servants, man. Okay, the Lord is, is, is going to come through with his promise, man. He's going to come through with, with his end of the, um, of the bargain, man. This is uh, verse 10, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Why? Because the wicked is not paying attention to the prophecies. They know nothing about them, okay? It reads, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What's that great noise? The nuclear missiles that these countries been tutting each other with, okay? Russia, China, South Korea, North Korea, Israel, America, Africa, etc. Okay? It's about to go down over there in the Middle East, man. And, and it say, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that that are therein shall be burned up. So this third world's war will be the end of civilization here on earth. But the wicked is focused on something else. And that's why the Lord's return will be as a thief in the night because nobody is watching out for a thief, you know, to break and enter. So that's why the Lord, you know, the day of the Lord is going to creep up on the majority of the world. This is um, Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the wave roaring, men hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on earth. Okay, the people are going to be seeing all types of crazy, unexplainable things, man. Okay, it say for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, kind of great distress of the nation. Okay, all hell has broken loose. All right, and, and, and at this point, and the people are are in great turmoil. You know, having heart heart attacks from the things that's that's happening on earth. You know, but it's not over just yet. What's next? Verse 27, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Hey, the wicked is in deep doo-doo now because Yahweh is coming to dry the nail in the coffin. Okay. Verse 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. And this is for his faithful servants. You know, his hopeful elect is, is, is being beamed up into the chariots for safekeeping to be released back into the earth to claim the lives of the remaining wicked and to gather the first fruits for their slaves, man. Okay. This right here is um, pretty much backing up what we just said. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, Michael, okay, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. This is speaking about the martyrs, okay, that, that were faithful unto death. And the scriptures tell us that in Psalms 116 and verse 15, precious is the sight of the Lord, Slocky precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Okay, some some of his faithful men will die for him, but when Yahweh shall return, the dead in the Mashiach will be the first ones on the chariot coming to get all the rest that remain in the Mashiach, man. Okay. All right, verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Come on, man. You know, so 
Hey, the 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 the, the ones that 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 died for this truth. Okay, are gonna be on the chariot with the Lord, man. Okay, and they're gonna come back and get the ones that still here. You know, that that's that that that's that's in this truth, man. You know, and they're gonna be caught up together in the clouds with the Lord, man. Okay, it say to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Okay, the Lord is only coming one time this go around. There is no two parts of the of the second coming. Okay, the 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 rapture that 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 is not gonna happen now. Huh? All right, the Lord gonna 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 come back, and, and you know, get get the good ones and, and wait several years to come back to get the rest no man that's not gonna happen the lord is making one sweep okay to get all his his his, his elect man one sweep 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 up the, the elect and sweep the earth with those nuclear those nuclear missiles man you know this is matthew 24 Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Okay, that's speaking of the noose, man. Because the the, 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 the flames from, from the from the missiles, they're, they're going to look like stars, man. Okay, that's going to be the stars that's falling from heaven. Okay, and, and the power from them, okay, will will will, will shake the heavens, man. It's, it's gonna shake the earth. The scriptures say um, that the earth is gonna rock to and fro like a drunkard, man. This is on um, verse thirty, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall see his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and put his forth leaves, ye know that summer is not. Okay, so likewise. When ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that no enter into the ark, which our people still do today. Okay, they part in bullshit, not realizing the great danger that is being exposed. To say, and knew it not until the flood came and took them all away. Okay, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Come, the wicked ain't going to know it's the end until the nukes fly. Okay, and that's when it's going to be too late. Huh? Okay, we, we, we keep warning. All right, sending up red flags. All right, the people keep ignoring them, man. You know? Until one day is gonna be one fine warning, man. And hey, if you don't get a deal, hey, it's gonna be too late for you, man. So with that said, you know, Lord, wouldn't it less for edify? So you wanna say shallow wrong.